will see us basically take this entire animal apart with a four inch fillet knife. Real expensive uh, butchering kit here, right? Now, you can go buy a big fancy kits and other knives and things like that, but really all you need is about a four inch fillet knife to skin this animal, take everything off the bone, trim it up. That's really, really all you need. Uh, we have found that these sort of knives with a, with a real narrow, flexible point gets up in those areas. It keeps, keeps a nice edge and it, it works very, very well. When I start the skinning process, this is the, really about the only time that you will see us cut from the outside of the animal in, cutting through the hair. What we try to do most of the time is cut from under the skin out so we're not cutting hairs and making one hair two hairs, okay? But, but in this case, I don't have much of a choice. So I'm going to start by removing the front legs. And simply how we do that is grab the leg and you'll feel a hard knot with your thumb right there. I'm going to put my thumb on that knot and I'm going to cut just on the uphill side of that knot. Just, just above it. Yeah, he actually went just a hair too far to that time above. Yeah, it's the tendon is right there. And I, I got it that time. Yeah. I'm going to start now taking the skin out by following the brown white seams. I always look for those seams. And right here, you see where the brown hair joins the white. Get my knife underneath there. And I'm going to go right up the arm, and when I get kind of into this armpit, I'm just going to turn sideways and, and, and cut straight over. Then it's just a matter of putting a little bit of pressure on this skin, and you can see it kind of exposes this little, like a little plastic looking area. Okay. I'm just going to take the tip of that knife and just touch it. Now we're going to kind of switch ends and go up here and go around the back legs. Okay. They're again going from the inside out. I get a lot of hair on my hands. I'm trying to keep my other hand off the deer if I can. To get it to this point, I need to get this tail loose. And if you, if you pull down and start cutting up here, you'll see there's, there's a couple little white discs that separate the little bones. And all I gotta do is take my knife and touch that disc and it'll separate it. This is where we could use the uh, golf ball and the pickup truck method. You know, put it in there and, and uh, pull it off, but it should be pretty easy. 